Hey guys, it's Richard. <laughs> I'm painfully here to show a buddy fight deck which I was forced to build by Gabe. Like three years ago. True. <laughs> so, because I'm cancerous and actually have no skill in buddy fight, I decided to build the easiest, most autopilot world in this game, which is Dragon World. Specifically, I revolved my deck around the ball dragon deck that Gal uses in the recent season. I have not updated it using stuff from the Climax Booster at all, because I have no money. So this is basically going to be post DBTO4. That's basically it. So starting with the flag, Dragon World, it's hot stamped because it came hot stamped. Sh shout out to that dude who sold me this deck on Facebook. Buddy is going to be Buddy Rare, Dragon of the Sun, Ball Dragon, so it's gonna we're gonna be using the the first ball dragon that came in DBT01 because I want to and I like the buddy rare and it's my deck. <laughs> so God bless. call cost pay one gauge. Uh, his skill is when he attacks he gets plus five attack and he has penetrate. So he's basically a 10k beat stick with two crit penetrate and terrible defense. All right, moving on we're gonna go with size threes. I'm running two copies of uh, uh, Super Sun Dragon Ball Salier, which are uh, cards that I purchased with my own money and did not borrow from Gabe from his Star Dragon World deck at all. Who? <laughs> so Ball Salier is basically, according to the anime, Ball's, I guess, evolved form. Ugh. <laughs> he's a... Uh, mega evolved, guys. True. He's uh he's from he's triple world. He's from all three dragon worlds. So you can throw him in any deck that has dragon world in it. Um da, 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 what am I doing? Oh yeah. I'll just say his cost. So he's pay two gauge and you have to put him on top of a monster on your field. And uh his ability he has two abilities. One is that if you have a card in your soul, hopefully I'm saying this correctly, if you as long as you have a card in your soul, you can reduce the damage by one. You reduce all damage by one. Gabe is donning his head, it's like I'm correct. And his other ability is counter, pay one gauge, uh, pop your opponent's center monster. So that it's counters, it means you can do it on, on their turn as well. And he has double attack and soul guard, so why not? It's pretty good size three, so I'm going to run it. All right, on to the size two. So we're running four copies of Dragon of the Sun, Ball Dragon, because he's our buddy. And I like his skill, and the deck is focusing around ball dragons because we are running Dragon Force and Ball Saucer Overrush. So the more balls we have to get Dragon Force off, the better. You're saying you want a lot of balls in your hand? Is that oh, yeah. why you fondled is that... in the kitchen earlier while we were eating cereal? That was the plan. That's... Oh, so you're trying to get my balls for your ball deck. Exactly. Ah! So, next we're running more balls because Richard can't get enough balls in his deck. Especially on his deck. So we're running three copies of Swordsman of the Sun Ball Dragon. So uh, Swordsman of the Sun, call cost, pay when gauge. He has two abilities. People keep forgetting he has two. First ability is as soon as he's placed uh, on the field, he can pop a soul from one of your opponent's monsters. And his ab other ability is when he link attacks... Um, you can you just auto destroy your opponent's center monster. Yes, Marvel is gonna start advertising their comics in theaters. Let's go. Oh, not bad, Marvel. Shameless promotion. <laughs> is that the new superhero onslaught of the super villains expansion set? <laughs> All right, size ones. We're running three copies of Tailblazer Dragon because this deck eats up a lot of gauge. Especially with the final like play with Overrush and Dragon Force, so three copies of Tailblazer. Oh, it's Link Attack uh, Gauge. Simple. So since we need Ball Dragons to get off skills, I'm running two copies of Awaken Ball Dragon. So Awaken skill is as soon as he's placed, no cost. You just put an item from your drop in your hand. So it helps if you want to just if you don't have an item, you want to get um, or you paid gauge with cost and like out of your gauge came out some items you can and they ended up in your drop you just pop this down put it back in your hand maybe pay the cost he's mostly there just for the ball dragon name to get uh dragon force off next up for we're running two copies of burning rapier dragon burning myself, rapier is on link attack draw a card so plus 
And speaking of plus, we're running two copies of Flare Fang Dragon, which is on place, gauge and draw. So it's literally just to play it, just to get a draw and fill up more gauge to pay for costs and stuff. And finally for size ones, two copies of Mirror Driver Dragon. I really like Mirror Driver because Unlike all the rest of the size one uh, sun dragons, they all have terrible attack, except for him. He has a grand total of 6,000 attack, which is really nice for a size one. And his other ability is when he link attacks, uh, the card he link attacks, or it's, I think it's, it doesn't even have to be the card he links attacks with. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. It's choose one of the cards in this link attack, and uh, this card and that card both gain penetrate. So it's like, you just link attack something, they both gain penetrate. Really nice. And lastly, just because we're throwing it in, it's just Glow Dragon Jr. I'm throwing it in because it has two crit, and if your opponent's center is open, that's just two damage. And if you blow up the opponent's center during this turn, he gets an extra crit, so that's just a three crit, size zero. And if you have Balsa, you can call that with it too, so why not? It's a nice tech. On to spells. We're running tons of shields, because what is Dragon World without shields? So we're running four uh, Sun Dragon Shield, which is uh, if you ha you can't you cast it if you have a Sun Dragon monster on your field, and uh, if and uh, if you successfully negate the attack, you uh, get to heal one and gain a gauge. And the other part says if you have two or more Sun Dragons on your field, this card cannot be nullified. So your opponent can't null your null. So they can't counter your counter to counter your counter. Running four copies. Well, that's not Blue Dragon Shield, the fuck. That's not a fucking shield. <laughs> Running four copies of uh, Blue Dragon Shield, and I got this really nice gold stamp one from Gabe. Thank you, Gabe. I love you. Got you, BB. <laughs> I just want my baby to have pretty things. So, if you all know Buddy Fight... My hands look like this, so hers could look like this. St I don't even know what, what? that means. You know, Stop, talking, mean. Miles. Stop <laughs> talking, Miles. Stop talking, Miles. You just get out of my house. Walk home. Forge Blue Dragon Shield. If you watch the Buddy Fight anime, which most of you probably don't because you're just Vanguard restricted like most people. And uh, Blue Dragon Shield basically is when you play it for the counter to negate the attack, you just gauge one. And lastly, we're just doing two Green Dragon Shields. I don't want to max out the 12 shields. Because that's way too many spells in the deck, and shields kind of get cluttered in your hand. So green dragon shield is basically blue dragon shield, but instead of gauging, you heal. So the reason I maxed out um, blue dragon shield instead of green is because you need more gauge in this deck than life, pretty much. Because life is terrible to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> Two copies of ball support. Ball support's uh, effect is... Uh, balls need some support for them. Of course. So when you cast it, if you have a ball dragon monster on your field, you can uh, gauge two and gain two life. It's mostly there for the gauge, but the life is nice too. And then we're running two copies of Blessing of the Sun. <clears throat> Blessing of the Sun is basically ball support, but without the ball restriction and without the healing, except and an additional gauge. So it's just you activate it, you get one gauge. If you have a sun dragon on your field, get two more gauge. So it's just a, you get three gauge. It's just a better dragonic charge, but it's not counter. So you have to do it during your main phase. Two copies of Dragobond because Dragobond's nice when like, cause you need ball dragon on the field to get dragon force. And if your opponent's trying to get rid of your ball dragon all the fucking time. Got you, BB. Uh, Dragobond's nice because it prevents it from being destroyed. So that's literally what Dragomond on is when your opponent uh, or next time one of your left or right monsters would be destroyed you can cast this, counter it, and it prevents it from being destroyed and then if it would be destroyed you gain two life. So. Oh my god. What? Buddy fights turning into Vanguard. We have a card, we have a card that's when this card enters the field for this turn a card on your field gets power plus two. Nice. <laughs> no. So we're running um, just a stout arm of the sun because uh, you can. You, it's just nice to pop stuff on your opponent's field. What this does is, if your opponent doesn't have a monster in their center, you pay one gauge, cast this, and you destroy one of your opponent's left or right monsters. So I have yet to play against a buddy fight deck that actually does not have monsters in the center because all Gabe builds are just fucking wall decks. 
Both so, mode I use at the wall deck. But you constantly have shit in your center, so gotcha. never mind. Anyways, uh, but if your opponent, if your opponent's field is going to be basically nothing in center, monster on left, monster on right, and an item, you can basically cast this and pop off one of their monsters. So nice to have. So I'm running it. And last but not least, for spells, one Grimoire because why not? You can thin out your deck, draw more cards when you're low in life and you're low in hand. So Grimoire skills, if you have five life or five life or less. You cast this, discard your whole hand, draw three cards. So, what's the spell on Yu-Gi-Oh that's like this? Can you see why kids love the taste of cinnamon crunch? <laughs> it's like, um, what's a good example of this? That's like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. I mean, it's like graceful charity, but in the opposite direction. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Alright, mm. items. The card you've all card been waiting for. But you get guaranteed three regardless of your hand size. That, that's a better way to do it. So we're running four copies of Dragon Force because this is par part of the end game, basically, of how you trying to win with this deck. Dragon Force, uh, unlike other items, has a release condition or basically an equipped condition, which means you have to have six life or less, and you have to have a Ball Dragon on your field before you equipped it. So that's why we have a lot of size two monsters and size the two size ones that have Ball Dragon in their name, so we can at least get this off. And uh, equip cost is two gauge, and his ability is that um, when you link attack with a monster, you restand it. So this basically, if you have a monster on your left, monster on your right, link attack for one attack, restand, link attack with the other, restand, link attack again, or attack by itself for a third attack, or you can keep it standing and combo up ball saucer and make really broken plays. And since this deck is really item reliant, we're running just two more items, which is uh, Sunstone Ball Flame. It's uh, it's really nice. It's just uh, easy pay one gauge to equip. Has two crits, five k attack, so it's pretty beefy. Um, his uh, the other skill is really nice is Counter. The next time you'd be dealt damage, you can just send this to drop zone, and you can uh, reduce the amount of damage by two. So this is nice because it can set up by destroying itself to help protect you and negate criticals you'd take, and then you can re-equip Dragon Force the next turn. Um, helps when you're low on shield, so really nice card. And now we're going to go into the impact monsters in the main deck. So we're just going to run standard four copies of Ball Dragon, Ball Saucer over Rush. So if you watch the anime, which... Maybe you don't. Uh, but impact monsters is after your battle phase, you have a phase for you have final phase. So you pay the cost, which is two gauge, and you choose a monster on your left, right, or just choose a monster in your field and send it to the drop zone, and you call it somewhere. And uh, his ability is counter. Uh, after it, it attacks, if you have an item equipped, you can restand it. So. The way this works, most of you might know this already, is that if you have Dragon Force, and let's just, for sake, say this is your gauge. Ah, I'm terrible. So let's say you fuck off. You attack. Open Scrub World. <laughs> you attack, and uh, so you just attack with Link Attack with the both of them together, and then you use uh, Ball Saucer Skill. You pay a gauge, he restands because he, he attacked and you have an item. Uh, Dragon Force's skill after a link attack restands. So you're literally just going attack, pay a gauge, restand, attack, pay a gauge, restand, over and over. And then when you've done your final one and you attack, or attack, you can still restand this again and attack on its own. So based on the amount of gauge you have, you're getting off extra attacks, and this is the combo that's literally going on. And since Buddy Fight has side decks, I made a side deck because why not? I want to at least try to be somewhat decent. It's better than I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just building meta and hoping for the best. All right, I'm just going to start off. I have one of this dude. I, I, I had this uh, Buddy Fight deck for a while. I just never bothered to make a video about it because it just wasn't meta. So this was back from DBT01. Uh, uh, Helios Dragon, what he does Everybody is... Everybody walk and die his sword! <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? His call cost is pay two gauge, put the top two cards of your deck, shove them into his soul. 
And for those of you who don't know, souls when cards go literally underneath your card, like in Vanguard, but you can be on any part of the field. And his ability is uh, act. You can take one of his soul, put it to drop. It's like detaching for Xyz monsters. And you can destroy upon its center monster. That's so, that's so good. And he has soul guard, which means when he's attacked, you can pull his soul out. He stays on the field. So uh, running in this side deck because against decks that have really annoying centers or big bulky center monsters that just want to pop it, get rid, rid of. of get rid of it. Fuck off, Gabe. Kill yourself, gay lord. I lost the rest of my side deck. No, it's right here. I lost the rest of my will to live. <laughs> Kill yourself. I'm running for from my side deck. I have another flare fang dragon in case I need to plus more. Another burning rapier dragon in case I need a plus more. Uh, two prominence dragons in case I ever play against a deck that's item reliant. So what prominence dragon does is when he link attacks, you can pop one of your opponent. You can pop your opponent's uh, item. Uh, I literally only play against Gabe, so he has he doesn't run decks that have items. Not like, that good. I like to run autopilot. Exactly. So this card is literally useless against him. But if I ever run across a deck that actually runs items, I'm just gonna tech this in. Uh, two Skyrunner. Skyrunner is actually probably pretty decent if I'm going to tech it into the deck mostly. His uh, ability is when he links attacks, I choose another card on my field, item or monster that isn't attacking with the link attack, and I give it double attack, which means double attack is like attacking twice. So Skyrunner is nice. You can make things attack twice or multiple times, especially with uh, Dragon Force. So just two copies. And last but not least, I'm running three Blaze Horn Dragons because people who have really bulky wall center monsters are really annoying. Blaze Horn's effect is when it attacks and it attacks a center monster, it doesn't matter if the attack actually if the attack like hits and actually destroys the monster or not. If it attacks it, the monster is automatically center destroyed. And Blaze Horn has move. So why not? So that's it. For my deck, Good, I you can really stop talking. <laughs> I don't play this game that much. I have never used this in a tournament. I literally play this against Gabe. He plays meta 24-7, so it's very terrible to play against him. Yeah, he says he plays casual. It, true. So I don't say that. I'm everyone please that. like this video way more than you like Gabe's video because protagonist deck. So please like me more because I actually play a protagonist deck, and protagonist deck in any Bush Road game are always the best decks. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys.